Good afternoon everybody, it's Andrew here with Giordano's Garage, welcome back. Today I'm going to be replacing the deck belt on this Troy built uh, riding mower and we'll get started. The first thing you want to do anytime that you're working on an engine is obviously take off the spark plug which is here at the front of the engine in there. So you'll take that out. Uh, that way you don't have any spark that is going to cause the engine to turn on for you because you're going to be working down under the the mower right here. So The easiest way to do this to take off the belt is if you remove these little brackets right here because that's going to be around where the the belt's gonna go. As you can see, mine is incredibly loose on here. So when I turn it on, it just it'll it just falls right off of the track. So I'm gonna take off these brackets first, real quick. So there's three of them on this side here. While I'm taking these off, these three bolts here are uh, 10 millimeters, a 10 millimeter socket or bolt, by the way. We'll take that off. So this way we have easy access that we can put the belt back on. Since we're on this side already, we're what we want to do next is take off this. The next thing we want to do is take off this bracket back here. And what it, it has a bolt up here. Let me see if I can get a shot of it for you. It's right here. All right. And this one is a 13 millimeter. So I have it on a uh, extender here. And I don't have an angle where I can show you doing it, but Loosen it. Alright, so when that comes off, it has a uh, it has a washer on it, so just be aware of that. And then uh, take off that bracket. And then we'll go to the other side real quick. take this bolt off too. So there's three more on this side as well. If you guys find this channel helpful, or this video helpful, please feel free to subscribe. We have those three bolts out. So we're going to remove this bracket. And we'll just put it up on the little footstool over there. Easy access here again. Right. Now that we have all of those brackets off, now all we need to do is take off this old belt here. All right, we got that off. Oh, got stuck on the other side. Easy peasy. Now we just have to put the new belt on, and you can see this belt's pretty worn out, and you know it's starting to break here. So we'll get the new one. 
and it's if you don't know exactly what the pattern is like let's say your belt snapped or anything like that you can come up here and in the there's a little there should be a little sticker on your uh i guess it's up down but there's a little sticker on here that'll show you um what the the pattern is but it's easy to kind of just figure it out if you're looking at it you can see how worn out the old belt was compared to the new one but now that we have it off we can just route it back in the new belt back in put it in here belt and we'll loop it around this front pulley first this is the, the, where my hand is this is the front of the mower and then we'll take it and what we have to do is we have to loop it uh, on the outside of this pulley on the the pulley right here on the right and then the next one it's gonna go on the outside of this pulley here on the left However, to get it on this pulley right here, there's this little space that has to go through. It has to go through here, and it doesn't fit. So what you have to do is take off this pulley right here. And that's, that's a 15 millimeter socket. And then once you break it loose, you, there's a nut underneath it that you're gonna wanna hold in place as well so i just have a a closed wrench stop uh wrench close end wrench down there so once you get that loose enough then you can just slide your your new belt in there and then make sure you still have it around the front end over there And this probably won't stay in there until we get further along. But, all right, so it goes around the back side of this, and then it's gonna it's gonna go around the side of this that goes toward in the center of the mower, and then it's gonna come around and go around the outside of the the uh, pulley over here. And then what we can go ahead and do is tighten this further. Uh, uh, pulley back up just so that we don't forget to do it now that we've tightened that pulley back up we're gonna go to the other side of the mower say hi to the chickens and you can see the bees back there all right now we're gonna go on to this side of the mower i get a good angle for you guys all right so the pulley's going to come around like it did before and then here is the same thing where we're going to have to loosen this bolt right here same idea where we have to have the wrench holding the nut at the bottom over here I had to come in through the back near where this Adler spring is, and then I have my socket on the top, and I'm loosening it. I'm gonna take that down for a second, and then we're gonna take our belt here, and we're gonna make sure it's looped around that front pulley here, and then we're gonna go around the side of this pulley closest to the inside of the mower and then we're going to wrap it around so that it comes around the outside of this pulley here and then once we have that we are going to 
make sure that we go ahead and tighten this pulley back up. Just real quick. Have that wrench holding the nut at the bottom, and then we're using our socket at the top. And once we have that belt back where it belongs, then we just need to put this bracket back on. It's going to go on like this with the screw in here. Come back over here to the front and then and then what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the other side of the mower real quick because I think this will be easier to see we have it we have it through here and then we just have to get this back this back into its hole And the, um, the screw when you put it back actually goes right here. So in case you have any trouble locating it, so you just have to take our socket, put it back up there, and then just tighten it. And the very last step that we're gonna have to do is just make sure that we put these mounting brackets back on this side here for the belt guards. We got remember, those three bolts on each side. One, two, Remember these are the 10 millimeters and you want to hand tighten them evenly and then you'll go through and you'll do the uh, actual, the tighten with your wrench. Well, and remember you just have to do the other side. But if this was helpful for you guys, I hope that you'll leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. But I will see you guys next time.